Bonjour and welcome back on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all the random things I have in my kit and I have a lot. You probably wouldn't suspect that we have all these kind of things in our kits. If someone has a headache, need eye drops or they need a pen, they are probably going to come to us first. So it's always nice to have all of these things and it also looks very professional and well prepared. That's things that I always have in my kit. Um, it took me a few years um, of experience to start collecting all of this, depending on the experiences that you have on set and the things that you realize you're missing or that people are asking for often. It's always good to have everything on hand for our actor, talents, models um, to feel comfortable in case they need anything and even for us because when we are on a job or on a set days are usually pretty long from like 12, 14 hours, 16 sometimes. My kit is a little bit my home away from my home so if I need something, if I'm cold, if I'm in pain, if I'm hungry, I should have it in my kit just to help me survive. It's yeah that's actually what it is, it's a mini survival kit that I have. <laughs> So let's start with my main bag of random things, which is that one. There is a lot of different things in it and I always have it with me. The first thing that I'm grabbing is some paper straws. I always have straws in my kit because when you spend five, 10 minutes doing a beautiful red lip, you don't want everything to be ruined because your actor or talent wants to take a sip of coffee. So, I just give them a straw. <laughs> then I have an iPhone charger um, that saved me many many times because when I'm on set for long hours um, the battery of my phone would die or be really really low and sometimes I have to take an Uber to go back home so that's why having a charger always on hand is very helpful and you always have someone either from the actor team or from the crew that needs a charger so it's really a must-have. Then I always have a little headlamp like that um, because as I was saying in my previous video you never know where you're gonna be doing makeup. Sometimes it's at night, sometimes it's in a very dark space. Sometimes you have to do touch-ups on an actor that's backstage and the lights are off. Um, so it's always good to have one of these little lamps. The next thing is probably the most glamour thing I have in my kit, some poopy bags. <laughs> I actually use these bags constantly. Um, I use them as a mini garbage to put on my station, to put all of my disposable tools when they are used, use cotton pads, tissues, all the little garbage that I don't want to be around my makeup station. And I get these ones in particular, these green ones, because they are compostable. So I'm trying to avoid using too much plastic when I have other options. I'm also always carrying eye drops. These ones are just uh, lubricant eye drops and they are individual doses just for a sanitary reason. You don't want to spread everyone bacteria around. It comes in very handy when your talent is tired, their eyes are red or when it's allergy season. I also have some little toothpicks and floss always handy. This little plastic poncho just in case I'm shooting something outside and it starts raining. Um, I got this one from the dollar store it's like $1.25. I never had to use it so far just because I look at the weather ahead before going on a job so I usually take an umbrella if it's gonna be raining but that can save a life for sure. I always have some mints and chewing gum as well for myself and for anyone that needs. I have this Ziploc bag with just a few face masks um, in case there's none on set. Some little safety pins and tight to go pen um, on sets where the budget is a little bit lower. There's not always a wardrobe stylist and sometimes the makeup artist might be expected to keep an eye on the clothes. It happened multiple times and that's something that's unfortunately quite frequent. Um, so having these two things 
is always good, always helpful. And funny enough, when someone stain their clothes, the first person they come to is makeup artist, as if we are expected to get rid of any stain and correct everything. So there you go, I have it. <laughs> I also have this little lip exfoliator that I never had to use, fortunately. Um, so they are silicone, like sort of brushes um, that you can exfoliate the lips with. Some post-it and a pen, um, always good to have in any situation, but why I'm using them the most for is just to put in my actor's bag. So when I'm taking care of an actor, I usually have, actually that's something that I wanted to show you in this video, so let's do it now. I put all of my actor's um, powders, brushes and tools that I use for the makeup application in an individual bag like that. I just write down their name on one of the little post-it, put it inside and then I just keep it with me for the rest of the day. So I keep everything separate per person. I don't want to use dirty brushes from someone onto someone else's faces. So that's how I organize that. I can't remember where I got these little bags from because I bought them from someone. They were secondhand, um, but I'm pretty sure you can find it anywhere. Um, I like these ones because the plastic used is actually a really good quality. I use them on most of my jobs. I clean them every time after using them and they still look perfect. So instead of using disposable Ziploc bags, I'd rather just use these ones and clean them after each use. And it's also the perfect size because all of my brushes fit in here. I can add a couple powder, a lip product if I need to, some concealer, and it's easy to carry around. I should actually make a video one day about what I keep in my set bag because that's a complete different mini kit. <laughs> I also have some latex gloves and some individual hand sanitizer just in case. A lot of these products that I'm actually showing you now are just in case. <laughs> a lot, most of them. <laughs> That's where I'm also keeping my barrier spray from Meron. Um, if when you spray that over any makeup, it turns it into almost something waterproof. So I like to have it for when I have to cover tattoos, for example. Some Advil's or some ibuprofen or whatever pills that you like to use for pain. Always good in case of headaches, in case of periods or whatever pain you may have. On that note, I would say to be very careful with pills and medication because you don't know if, if you give them to someone, if they're gonna have an allergic reaction, that can happen. Just be very mindful when you're giving pills to someone. I'm also keeping this little tin with some soap inside to wash my hands because there's not always um, soap uh, available or to clean my brushes if I'm on set and if I have a break and there is hot water and everything that I need to clean my brushes, I might just go ahead and save some time and just clean my brushes when I can. And the last thing that I have in my bag is a lifesaver as well. It's some, how do you call that? Hand warmers, hand warmers. I never know how to call these things some things to keep your hands warm. I multiple times was working on sets outside in the winter, in the fall. It happened last week and I'm telling you, after standing still for eight hours in the cold, these become your lifeline, your lifesaver. So I have these ones that you can keep in your pockets and I usually have some that you can put in your shoes as well. You can just like, put it uh, at the, the tip of your shoes and it keeps your, your little toes warm. And all of the things that I show you until now fit into this little bag. It's all about condensing once again. <laughs> now let's move to bigger items such as this little fan that's super cute, pink. Um, you can actually open the center here and put some essential oils on a little pad as well. If you want to put some like peppermint uh, to have this cooling effect. I use it the most to dry down the glue when I'm applying lashes. So I would apply the glue on the lash, same as usual, and then um, dry it with the fan for five to 10 seconds. 
just so I can go ahead and put it on the eye right away. I don't have to wait or to like shake it um, for it to dry a bit quicker. It's good when you work with any type of glues, um, especially if you do special effects. I know it's very, very useful. And when I'm on set and it's the summer and it's really hot, always good to hand it out to my actors or if, for example, they are doing they are dancing or they are moving a lot, they are sweating. I know that my actors love it when I have it with me on set. I got this one from Amazon too. It was not expensive. I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, everything that I'm mentioning in this video will be linked in the description box for you anyway, so you can check all the different references. And some links might be affiliated. So thank you so much if you decide to shop something through these links. Another very glamour thing is this power bar um, that has quite a long cord. Um, I use it on honestly most of my jobs. Most makeup artists have one in their kit um, because when you do hair, you have to plug your hot tools somewhere and your makeup table or makeup station might not always be next to an outlet or if there is one, it's gonna be one outlet, but you need to plug three different things. So very, very good to have um, a power bar like that. Something that's always handy is just this little mirror. Um, very simple, but it happens very often, surprisingly, that I don't have a mirror where I'm set up. Um, so it's just to show my actor or my client what they look like once the makeup and hair is done, just so they can at least see what they look like before they go on camera. And the last thing I'm going to show you today is something that you've seen in multiple of my videos. It's my very famous um, gray silicone mat that I use all the time. That's what I put on my table before signing up for jobs and before taking out um, my main kit bag. Um, it's very easy to clean, it's very light, you can just roll it and even fold it if you want so it doesn't take any space in my suitcase. I used to use um, towels, black towels, I think that's, that's what people were doing like back in the days, but it's not sanitary and it's actually harder to take care of. So yeah, I've been using a silicone mat for a few years now and I'm really, really happy about it. It's super easy to sanitize and just to carry around. And it's actually being sold as a, a baking sheet, I think. Is that how it's called? So it was pretty inexpensive to buy because it's not technically related to makeup um, and the quality is really really great so it's probably gonna last me for a few more years. All right so that's gonna be it for today. Um, I have a few more things that I could show you in this category but let me know in the comments if you would like to see a part two to this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, like this video and leave a comment if you want to support this channel. It's always good for the YouTube algorithm. You know the deal. Take good care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bisous!